one of the other aspects that was uh, that was strongly emphasized with the uh, with daratumumab and the anti-CD38 um, um, monoclonal antibodies is um, the different aspects of their mode of action and the possibility that these drugs um, upregulate the immune system. No, that the the possibility that these drugs not only directly target the myeloma cells, but as another aspect of their mode of action, um, also stimulate the immune system and harness the immune system to attack the myeloma cell. Um, um, the question is to what extent that second part um, of the mode of action, the immune stimulatory uh, component of the mode of action, um, how critical that is in the actual or how, how important it is to the effectiveness of these drugs um, uh, against myeloma. Um, and um, it's, it, um, the emerging thought is that, um, in fact, the immune stimulatory effect of these drugs may be, um, um, may be a crucial part of their, um, um, of their effectiveness and, a part and particularly in achieving a durable effect. Um, one of the things that was emphasized was that um, we're seeing um, long-term um, deep responses with daratumumab and also that we see deepening of responses with time and sometimes patients achieving minimal residual disease negativity after um, sometimes after several years despite the fact that uh, there's been no detectable CD38 expression on plasma cells after just a few months of therapy. This would imply that um, that um, immune activation by the um, uh, by daratumumab is important to its long-term effect, and it does have implications as well for um, as to the duration of therapy. Um, if in fact this is um, uh, the the effectiveness really depends on stimulating the immune system in the long term, this would argue for uh, maintaining the therapy for a longer period of time. Another part I found interesting and I think worthwhile mentioning was the very preliminary data with the subcutaneous daratumumab. As we know in Canada, we have uh, you know restricted uh, resources in terms of chair time, etc. So this was a phase 1b uh, study with uh, about uh, 33 patients where they used a fixed dose uh, daratumumab, so 1,200 milligrams uh, subcutaneous versus 1,800 milligrams. Uh, they only looked at uh, uh, safety and pharmacokinetics. So um, essentially it was a very feasible uh, mode of administration with very little side effects. Uh, the grade 1-2 uh, infusion re reactions were very low and manageable uh, and there were no problems with the abdominal uh, injection site. So I think this is uh, uh, very interesting and probably the future.